We have gas pipelines that supply gas for energy, and um, there were vandals who were working to destroy those pipelines, and our energy supply dropped from 4,000 megawatts for 170 million people, which is very little, to 1,500 megawatts for 170 million people. Now, normally what Nigerians do to solve this problem, that if they have the means to do so, is that they buy fuel generators or diesel generators, and then they power their own energy. They'll, they'll put fuel or diesel, and then it will power their house or their offices or their factories. At the same time that the megawatts dropped from the national grid, the oil workers went on strike because of a problem that they were having with the government and we could not get any fuel in the country. You know, what happened first was um, the factories started couldn't work full time. They had no energy to work. So workers couldn't work, factories couldn't make money. Then, of course, government offices can't function. There's no electricity. And these things are even okay. Schools, but the children are happy even to stay at home and play, you know, maybe. Then, but the health centers was now thrown into a crisis. And doctors would come onto the news televisions and tell us that for them, they think it's better that families with sick um, patients needing surgery should stay at home that it's even better for the, the people to stay at home and die at home than to come for surgery in the hospital, but there's no power. If there's no power, there can be no surgery. You know, it was one thing, that was when I started to realize that this is a disaster.